Hi platform, I'm Emma Smith-Barton. I'm the author of The Million Pieces of Nina Gill. Nina, who's 15 years old, she's struggling with anxiety after her brother disappears. It's a novel about mental health, but it's also about first love, it's about friendship, um, mainly it's about piecing your life back together after it falls apart. So today I'm going to be answering some questions to piece my cover together. What is your favourite thriller? So my favourite thriller that I absolutely love is a book called The One Memory of Flora Banks by Emily Barr. Um, I love it so much I've read it twice. It's about Flora who's suffering from a certain type of amnesia and it affects her short term memory but it's really warm, it's big hearted and it's full of surprises. What prompted you to write about mental health? Okay, so there are a few reasons. Um, the first is that someone really close to me suffered from psychosis and it was such a tough thing for them to go through, um, but they also suffered a lot of stigma and um, it became really clear to me that there's hardly any media representation of psychosis that's accurate and, um, and also that I just wanted to encourage a bit of compassion rather than having all this stigma and negativity surrounding psychosis. That was the first thing. The second reason was that I've suffered from anxiety myself, so I wanted to explore that in my book. There weren't conversations surrounding mental health at the time that we're having now, which I think are really, really important. They make you feel less lonely, and I think I would have been better equipped to deal with my anxiety if they'd been around then. So. I really wanted to spark some of those conversations and add to the wider mental health conversation we're having now. Which book do you think all schools should have in their library? There are so many that I could say, um, but I'm going to go with a mental health book that I read quite recently. It's Turtles All The Way Down by John Green um, because of the depiction of mental health in that novel of OCD. It's just so accurate, so brilliantly done, and I think it's just so important for everyone to read it to have an understanding of OCD. Who is your favourite literary heroine? Matilda. Who are your favourite literary siblings? There are loads I could say but I'm going to go for one by Sarah Crossan. The sisters in there, it's just so well depicted, their relationship, that, that close bond that they've got and yet their need to also be individual um, and I just love that book. What is your advice for aspiring writers? Read a lot, write a lot, and tell the story that only you can tell. Thank you so much for joining me. My book, The Million Pieces of Nina Gill, is out on the 11th of July, and you can order it below.